the way that he's been playing both sides of the court, but especially defensively, you saw it on that last position. Uh, could you just reiterate the importance that, uh, of the way that he's playing right now heading into the postseason? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, first of all, we don't win the last two games without his his final play, uh, big plays, the offense rebound uh, last night, and then um, obviously the steal on, on Olenek to save the game tonight. So, uh, you know, he's really rounded into form. Um, you know, he's, he's had a little bit of an up and down season, but, um, you know, this last couple of weeks, he's really performed at a super high level and you know, gives us confidence that, you know, we got a guy out there that, that can, and we can throw on almost any matchup and really shut their water off. And uh, he guarded multiple positions tonight, uh, was a big part of the win. Greg, zooming off this game for a second, what were your thoughts on the pregame ceremony and the banner raising and uh, you know, even LeBron and AD kind of finishing it by saying, all right, now now's the time we want to try to focus on repeating. Yeah, it was, uh, it was awesome. You know what I mean? Like our, our fans, said, honestly, we didn't have a, a full house because we're not allowed to, but you know, the fans were here were super loud during that moment. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I just look forward to the days we can have everybody back in Staples. Um, you know, so much pride, you know, to bring a, a title to Laker Nation and raise that banner. And, um, you know, it was great for, uh, for AD and Bron to get up and, and speak directly to the fans. And, you know, it got us pumped up, you know, that we're close, you know, we're close to, uh, you know, heading into the playoffs uh, with a chance to, to defend our title. Okay, Dave McMenamin, please. Frank, how do you think you'll manage this final back-to-back? Um, let, let's just say, hypothetical, well, that uh, a seating is, is locked up after the first game. Would, would you use... A night to rest, or is this a group that needs all the reps it can get before whatever postseason you participate in? Yeah, we're really going to make those decisions, um, you know, day of game. You know, obviously, we like to get uh, as much time with these guys on the floor together that we can. Um, you know, but uh, you know, obviously, if the last game is is meaningless, we'll make the call at that point whether it's more important uh, to get some time together or or to uh, to rest up for uh, whatever is next. You know, so um, we'll just make those decisions uh, day of game. How good. Hey, Frank, you have, you know, two nights in a row where Taylor obviously is very productive um, and makes some winning plays down the stretch, um, but also makes some mistakes and has some turnovers. Where are you kind of sitting with those two sides of Taylor as you think about what role he can play for this team in the playoffs? Taylor's doing a great job for us. You know, let's highlight the positive. I mean, he's carrying a big load, uh, you know, being asked to, you know, basically run the whole team uh, with, with all of our, our point guards and quarterbacks out. Uh, he's really a, a scoring two, and um, he's doing a phenomenal job uh, helping us these last two games. Okay, Dan Wicke, please. Frank, um, what have you seen from Andre these last two games, um, and, and has that, has that been sort of a blueprint of, of kind of what maybe he'll be able to do when you guys, you know, come together as a full group? Yeah, Dre's been great. You know, I, I we're really challenging him to, uh, um, you know, just be great on both sides of the ball, you know, protecting the rim and, um, you know, finishing around the basket, playmaking, uh, being big on the offensive glass. Um, you know, I thought we saw that uh, from him tonight. And he had another uh, strong performance second night in a row. Um, Trez is playing great too. So, uh, you know, with eight straight buckets in the, I mean, uh, eight straight points in the fourth quarter, um, we decided to roll with him down the stretch, um, you know, and then with the, you know, with the small ball lineups that they were playing. So, um, you know, I'm happy with what, what Drum has done the last two nights. Frank, Frank to follow up really quickly on that, um, he's been in foul trouble a little bit. Um, but with your depth at that position, is that n- not such a big deal, maybe? Um, like, can he be, more aggressive, I, I guess, with the way he defends, knowing that you've got Mark and Trez behind him? Yeah, well, his foul rate is is much higher um, in his short time so far this year with our team uh, than it's been throughout his career. And uh, I think that's just indicative of how hard he's trying uh, to compete on that side of the ball, um, you know, and, and, and trying to do what we're asking him to do. Um, you know, that's an effort thing. And uh, we just want our guys playing as far as possible. We do have depth, but, you know, we don't, we don't want to, um, you know, we want drumming the game, you know what I mean? So, you know, obviously we want him to play without Fallon, but I, you know, I'm fine with him making uh, mistakes of aggression because uh, he's, he's just competing, you know. All right. Thanks so much, coach.